Hello world, Civ 106 welcome to week 11. And uh, some of you will maybe notice that um, I had the discussions due on Thursday. And now if you look, it says Sunday. So I switched it. All the work this week is due on Sunday um, at the latest. So you can always turn it in early. That's never a problem. And so if you did turn... Uh, you know, the work, uh, get your discussions in um, now b uh, before Thursday or Sunday. That's that's fine. So that's all I wanted to make really clear on that. just want to briefly mention that I, um, for this week, I have us do this the Celtic video, Vikings, and then Christianity, and the canonization of the Bible. Why did I set it up this way? It's a little bit different than what I would do for some of the other uh, sections. I actually didn't want to do it this way. Uh, I have time constraints. And as we get close to the end of the semester, I don't have time to devote to all the information that I want to cover with all of you. And so what I, I try to do is I try to sneak in, if you will, other information and concepts that I cannot get in otherwise, and put it. So, I would really like to talk more about um, Celtic, Germanic, and Slavic paganism before the advent of Christianity, and um, even more so than also, if possible, deal with uh, African uh, animism and paganism before. Uh, Christianity and Islam and, and um, excuse me, we will cover some of that uh, uh, soon. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm always learning more and I want to put in more. When I first started this, I didn't have such a Vikings uh, uh, knowledge about Norse mythology so well developed. And there's there are some gaps in that. Um, I don't talk about uh, Sacco Grammaticus. Uh, the Danish uh, writer who writes um, in Latin, and also Adam of Bremen. And these are some other sources that help complement the Viking, uh, a knowledge about the Viking uh, world and Norse mythology. Um, I still think that this is mainly the best information for you to know. I'm simply saying that if we had more time and we could go over all of this in, in better detail, I would just put a whole section uh, devoted to that. And with Christianity as a global religion, I have gaps in terms of how I'm approaching this as well. Um, ultimately, what I'm hoping is that you can uh, uh, get a picture painted in your mind. So especially for those uh, of you thinking about Western civilization, this transition of uh, paganism into Christianity and how also some of those things are left over. So our calendar, for example, is a great, great example where we are, st we are still invoking the name of uh, Germanic gods. I mean, Thursday is Thor's day, straight up. <laughs> and uh, we still enjoy movies about Thor. In a sense, the Western world um, hasn't fully forgot something of itself uh, and, and its culture and its belief system prior to um, Christianity. And, you know, uh, um, but there's something I want to address on this too. And I may post something for you on this a little bit later. If you look on the internet and you want to get really interested in uh, any kind of European paganism, you will quickly stumble into white nationalist ideologies. Sometimes they sneak that in to a vlog on discussing um, any, th any topic of, of uh, the Norse gods, Vikings, any of this topic. Um, I often used to wear the Mjolnir. Sometimes I still do. That's the Thor's hammer, just because I like it as a, a heritage uh, piece. But... Unfortunately, while everybody who wears the Mjolnir is not a white nationalist, many, many white nationalists are wearing that. And what they're saying is this is indigenous white religion. 
that's how they're 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 pushing it and you see that some people who are actually practicing neo-pagans that actually do worship thor and this is happening and there are th these people who do that in celtic uh, uh old celtic gods now historians debate how much people are practicing something now as it was practiced back then and i'm also not engaging in whether or not this is truth or falsehood or blah 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 but uh, what i am saying is within that movement itself there is some infighting of people who kind of just see this as their as a universal religious set of ideas and those who are more called folkish or nativist uh, uh, that view that that, that, that only gods are somehow attached to the dna i mean there's there's black gods for blacks and white gods for whites well that's that's out there that's a thing so um i just want you to keep that in mind as if you find you want to explore these topics more and um there's also a lot of non-scholarly work on christianity whether it's from christians or even anti-christians by the way and i'm not i'm just referring to the idea of what they're saying about the history of Christianity. I'm not making any discussions about the truth claims of Christianity as well on this. I'm not, so I'm warning you about that topic also. So you'll see that there's, um, I think it's Zeitgeist, and it talks about the 12 uh, um, uh, apostles being linked to the zodiac sign. I mean, there's no proof for that. It's an interesting theory, but um, I'd like to see some sources to, to um, um, you know, make that claim. So that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about looking uh, uh, out for. And um, and then sometimes people, you know, refer to the New Testament as reflecting first century Christianity. And that's a problematic uh, um, historical analysis as well. It's certainly limited. Um, so these are the kind of positions that uh, uh, some Christians and anti-Christians are, are, are putting out there that I think on a historical level just need to be... Um, there needs to be some skepticism. So I've already went too long in this uh, announcement. I'm not sure how many are actually even watching this at this point. And, but in any case, um, as I always mentioned, please contact me if you need any help and have any questions uh, regarding information in this class.